Coulomb's law, the formula for Coulomb's law is F is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. Right? Epsilon naught is the electrical electrical permittivity of free space. And if we have a medium other than air or vacuum, then this epsilon naught is replaced by epsilon for a medium. This force becomes Fm, Fm, M for medium, and it is equal to Q1, Q2 by R square, right? And mm -hmm. where this epsilon is, epsilon naught, epsilon R. Epsilon R is the relative electrical permittivity, right? This we had done in the previous class. Now let's take a, a problem based on this formula. Write a question. Calculate the Coulomb's force. We call it Coulomb's force or we can call it electrostatic force. So we have to calculate the electrostatic force between two alpha particles. So we have two alpha particles. This is first alpha particle and this is second alpha particle. We have to find the electrostatic force between these two alpha particles. And these two alpha particles are separated by a distance of 3.2 3.2 into 10 is power minus 15 meter. Distance between these two alpha particles is 3.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 15 meter. How will you find the electrostatic force between these two? First, tell me the nature of force. These are alpha particles. What are alpha particles? Alpha particle is the helium nucleus. Yeah. Alpha particle is the helium nucleus, right? He24. So what is the charge on one alpha particle? Anybody? Yes, Rishti. What is the charge on alpha particle? There are two electrons. He24, we have two electrons in alpha particle. So what is the charge on alpha particles? The charge on alpha particle is equal to charge on two electrons. Right? Yes. So it is 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So we can write 3.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulombs. Now we know the value of charge, right? So we can easily find the force. So what kind of force will be there? Attractive or repulsive? Yes, force is repulsive. And you will get the force uh, as positive or negative. Why positive? Because it is repulsive. When we have attractive force, only then the force is negative because one is positive, other is negative. Right? Now write the formula of one upon four by F cell and not is nine into ten to the power minus nine into two point six into ten to the power minus nine volts. So seventeen. Please check again. We have nine into ten to the power nine. Three point two, three point two to cancel. Ojaiga, right? So we in the numerator we have ten to the power minus thirty eight. While in the denominator we have ten to the power minus thirty. Minus plus minus minus plus minus plus now. now tell me the answer. 90. Yes, it is 90 Newton. Write the answer. Is a chibat ni osakti? Ya po it na chesia. Bohala chibate. Maybe slow is illegal varying, which is a patakia initially. Slow chalte, film fast with it. Here it is, please increase. Okay. Should I clear the screen? Yes. 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 Should I clear the screen? Yes. Yes. Online children, please give me a thumbs up. Should I clear the screen? Okay. Now let's take another question. Question number two. 
uh, in a medium we have charges in a medium this time okay in a medium the force of attraction between two point electric charges distance d apart is f so we have two charges and the distance between the two charges is d the force between them is f okay this is given to us now it is saying that what distance apart should these be kept in the same medium so that the force between them becomes free f so how should we change the distance to increase the force if we want our force to be 3f then we distance need to need should be increased or decreased we, decrease. we need to decrease the distance if we want the force to be increased distance has to be decreased it needs to be decreased only then the force will increase right so we have to find this d dash we are keeping the charges same but we are increasing the force force becomes three times and we have to find the change in distance or we have to find the final distance okay this d dash yes so from the first uh, situation when we had the charges uh, d distant apart we can write force as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by d square now we are saying that we have increased the force to 3f so at what distance should the charges be kept so that the force becomes three times its original value okay if the force becomes 3f then we can write 3f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by d dash square find d dash so we can equate these two or we can divide these two just divide these two okay divide these two because medium is the same and it is not mentioned here that medium is air or vacuum or any other medium so we can take epsilon not or we can write epsilon it's our choice because we are not changing the medium here right it doesn't matter on dividing these two we get f upon 3f becomes 1 by 3 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 1 upon 4 pi epsilon will cancel out in uh, cancel out and we have q1 q2 they are also same so here in the we have 1 upon d square left and in this expression 1 upon d dash square is there so we can write d dash upon d square okay so this d dash is equal to 1 by root 3 into d or d by root rationalize sorry yes you can rationalize if you want to so it is root 3 d by 3 you can write like this so choice this is the distance it's raining na no? <laughs> yes written on coulomb's law in coulomb's law we take two charges separated by some distance then we say that attractive or repulsive force between the charges is proportional to product of them and inversely proportional to square of the distance Ladies. between them right but if we have n number of charges then how will we find forces between them tell me hum aap is tarah se karte hain ki ab agar hum koi ek particular charge le le to us par agar jaise ki mam ek pura system hai usme five number of charges hai aur hame kisi ek pe lagana hai to wo charge us par force jo hogi wo is par ye charge ye charge ye charge aur ye charge sabhi combined force yes suppose we have a charge q1 we have n number of charges we have a system of n charges we have a system of n charges n charges we can uh, write these charges as q1 let q1 be the first charge q2 be the second charge q3 is a third charge and qn is is a nth charge right so we can place these charges at different positions q1 is here q2 is there q3 is here q4 is here and q5 is here we can write like this okay suppose we have a test charge we have a test charge q not we actually uh, take this test sometimes we call this unit positive charge it is a very small charge it is that small that when it enters this system of charges it does not perturb the 
क्या बोलते हैं उसको जोमेट्री ऑफ द चार्जेस और वी कैन से पोजिशन ऑफ द चार्जेस राइट इट विल नॉट परट्यूब एनीथिंग एनीथिंग इट विल नॉट परट्यूब द सिस्टम दिस डिस्चार्ज इज वेरी स्मॉल दट इट्स प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस विल नॉट इफेक्ट आर सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द फोर्स ऑन दिस टेस्ट चार्ज ड्यू टू ऑल द चार्जेस ओके सो दिस चार्ज दिस क्यू वन चार्ज एंड दिस क्यू नॉट सो देर इज अ फोर्स काइंड ऑफ फोर्स इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स बिटवीन दीज टू एट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम इज आर वन ओके सिमिलरली वी कैन टेक द डिस्टेंस एज आर टू सो वी आर फाइंडिंग द नेट फोर्स on the test charge q0 so this net force on test charge q0 is because of the presence of all the charges all the charges of the system right so q3 will exert force on it on this charge let the position vector be r3 here position vector is r2 and q5 will exert force on this position vector is r5 and q4 will also exert force on this we have n number of position vector is r5 r So, R4 yes, 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 it is R4. Okay, so it's R4. So, uh, superposition principle says, uh, that net force on this test on this charge is equal to sum of all these forces, which these charge exert on the test charge individually. The force between, listen to this very carefully, force between Q1 and Q2. Q naught. Let's let's find the force first. So force between Q naught and Q one can be written as force on naught due to one. We can write like this. Force on naught due to one. So it is one upon four pi epsilon naught. Q naught Q one divided by R one Q into R one vector. Right? We can R we, we can write like this. We are taking R one now. And uh, force on naught due to two is One by four by epsilon naught q naught one upon four pi epsilon naught yes q naught q two by r two cube into r two vector in the in the in the same way we can write for one by four pi three four five and suppose yes r three into r three and suppose we have n number of charges so we can write by four pi epsilon naught q naught q one by r n square into r n yes q naught q n by r n square into r n vector R n cube, sorry, R n cube, R n vector, right? So we can write like this. Right. Now the superposition principle tells one more thing. This is one thing that the net force we can find like this by adding the all the forces we can find the net force on charge Q naught. Okay, so net force on charge Q naught is F naught, and it is equal to F naught one plus F naught two. To F naught n, so we'll simply add all these forces to get the net force on charge Q naught. This is one thing. ठीक है, इतना clear है. And second thing is that if the force between Q one and Q naught is F one, F naught one, so it will remain F naught one only. The value of this force will not change due to the presence of other charges. A presence of other charges will not affect the force between the two charges. So, so we have n number of charges here, or we can have two n number. We can have a large number of charges. Suppose we have uh, we have added some. Let's add more charges here. So their presence will not affect the force between the two charges. Okay, this is the second thing. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yes, children. Any doubt? Great. So now you can write. See, we can take things common. Which are common? We can take common. We, one upon four pi epsilon naught belongs to all. This q naught belongs to all. So no need to write again and again, right? So we can simply write in the bracket q one by r one q. Into vector r1, then we can write q2 by r2 q into r2 vector, and then qn by rn q into rn vector. So this is how we can write. Easy. Charge q3 is brought near the force exerted by 
Q1 on Q2. Then what happens? It remains unchanged. Shabash. It remains unchanged. Next question. Two charges are placed at a distance apart. If a glass slab is introduced between them, then the mutual force between them, the charges. We have introduced a glass slab between the charges. So if we'll introduce the, introduce the glass slab between the charges, then when we'll introduce the glass slab between the charges, then medium will change the How will the force change? If epsilon naught changes to epsilon, then force will increase, decrease, remains the same or becomes zero. Okay, please justify. Anyone? Beta, bolna padta class mein. Aise pata kaise lagi ka aata ki niya See, we have two charges Q1 and Q2 and the distance between these two charges is R. Okay, so we can write the expression as F is equal to 1 upon 4 by epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square. Now we are saying that we have introduced a glass slab. So we have the charges Q1 and Q2 and this time we have introduced a glass slab between the charges. So if we introduce the glass slab between the charges then medium will change suppose the uh, now the force is f dash and it is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square and this epsilon can be written as 1 upon k right into 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square and this is your original force right f this is f so f dash is equal to f by k so force will increase, decrease, remains the same or becomes zero. It, it becomes one upon k times, right? Yes. It will decrease. I hope this question is clear to all. A charge Q is placed at the center of the line joining two charges, two equal charges Q. What will be the value of Q for the system of three charges to be in equilibrium? When do we say that the given, a given system is in equilibrium? When the net force and the net torque on, this, on that body is zero. When the net force on the system is zero, then we say that it is in equilibrium. Torque zero. So, but here we are not dealing with torque. From general <laughs> okay, now do this question. See, we have two charges. A charge Q is placed at the center. We have two equal charges Q. They are separated by some distance. And we have a charge small q. It is placed at the center. Let the distance between these two charges be 2R. If the distance between these two charges is 2R, then this charge, this small charge Q will be at a distance R. So this is R and this is also R because it is at the midpoint of the line joining the two charges, mm -hmm. right? Now we, uh, what will be the value of Q? For what value of small Q? For what value of small Q? The given system is in equilibrium. For what value of small Q? The given system is in equilibrium. So for equilibrium net force, should be zero. Okay, now. The three charges. Will be in equilibrium. If, please write this in your notebook, if the net force, if uh, no net force, if no net force 
acts on each charge. The three charges will be in equilibrium if no net force acts on these charge. Okay, so let's consider this charge. Uh, any charge you can take, let's consider this charge. So force on this charge due to Q and due to this capital Q. Either the forces are equal and opposite or we can write sum of the two forces equal to zero, right? So let's find the force between small Q and capital Q first. F is equals to nine into one upon four pi epsilon naught. Yes. Nine to the power nine. No, we don't. We don't. We don't need to find. We don't need to put the values here. We'll find the ex expression only. We'll find the relation between small Q and capital Q because we are not given the value of Qs and the distance, right? Fine. So it would be one by four pi epsilon naught into. Capital Q, Q small Q. Yes, capital Q small Q by R square plus one by four, one by four, four by epsilon naught. Small Q capital. And no, we are finding the net force on this capital Q. So it is Q into Q is Q square, and the distance four between R them is two R whole square equal to zero. So ma'am, we can reduce that it would be zero. So we can take four one by four by epsilon naught common, right? Yes, we can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon not common. We can also take Q, Q common and R square. R square also. Right? So we can take 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not outside. We can take Q and R square as well. So in the bracket, we'll have only Q left here plus, and here we have Q by 4 equal to 0. Right? This implies. Q plus Q by 4 is equal to 0. Or we can say Q is equal to minus Q by 4. The value of the charge is so minus Q by 4.